President Biden has just stepped out of the Democratic race and has nominated Kamala Harris to be his replacement. Pause to take a look at his tweet, which just came out. And this comes after several declarations of him not dropping out of the race unless there was a message from God or some kind of medical condition. And then a couple days ago, he tests positive for COVID. Now let's see if the rest of the Democratic Party wants to support her. They absolutely 100% should. This is one of the most unprecedented acts of self-sacrifice we have ever seen a president make for the sake of the American people. America once again has a chance to elect its first female president or re-elect Donald Trump who is 79 years old. And if Kamala Harris becomes the DNC presidential nominee, we will be faced once again with the opportunity to have our first female president in American history. Donald Trump is 78 years old now older than Biden was when he became the president of the United States. We have seen what four years of President Trump was like. Massive buybacks for large corporations, COVID running rampant, destroying the world economy, especially ours. January 6th insurrection where he tried to stop the ballot count in Congress. Four years after a Trump presidency and this country is still extraordinarily divided. I have heard many accusations about Kamala Harris being ruthless. I would rather have a leader that was ruthless and clever than ruthless and foolish. I conclude this post with a question Question to all of you, if she does get the Democratic nomination, which she should, who will be her running mate?